Let's start by plotting triangle ABC on the Cartesian plane. We are given that the base BC of the triangle rests on the x-axis and the midpoint of BC is the origin through which the y-axis passes perpendicular to the x-axis. Also, since the distance BC is given to be equal to 2A, therefore the coordinates of C and B are respectively A0 and minus A0. Let's assume that the coordinates of the vertex A are HK. Join point B to point A and point C to point A to complete triangle ABC. Let's assume that the base angles of triangle ABC are theta and phi respectively. Now drop a perpendicular from the vertex A on to the x-axis and let's assume that the foot of the perpendicular is n. Therefore, the vertical distance of point A from the x-axis is k and the horizontal distance of the point A from the y-axis is equal to h. Therefore, the distance Cn is equal to h minus a. Also, the distance OB is equal to a because the coordinates of point B are minus a, 0. Finally, note that angle ACN is equal to pi minus phi. Now, from right angle triangle ANC, tan of pi minus phi is equal to an divided by cn which is equal to k divided by h minus a and this implies that minus tan phi is equal to k divided by h minus a which implies that tan phi is equal to minus k divided by h minus a. Similarly from right angle triangle ANB tan theta is equal to an divided by bn which is equal to k divided by h plus a. Now we are given that tan theta is equal to m times tan phi. Substituting the values of tan theta and tan phi we get k upon h plus a is equal to m times minus k divided by h minus a. k cancels in the numerator across the left hand side and the right hand side. Cross multiplying we get h minus a is equal to minus m times in brackets h plus a. This can be written as 1 plus m times h is equal to a times in brackets 1 minus m. Now the locus of point A with coordinates hk can be obtained by replacing h with x and k with y. Therefore the locus of A is 1 plus m times x is equal to a times 1 minus m. And this is the required answer.